Emily Blunt, and as you can tell from my accent, I am smarter than you. Because <laughs> you're good at accents, because... I don't know. Yes, you're, in, you're English, and... So and, we're obviously great. Yes. <laughs> well, they had a problem, apparently the producer had a problem with the way you said condom. Yeah, because I... They, uh, what do they say in America? They say... Condom. Condom. <laughs> condom. And I obviously say condom like any normal person, and <laughs> it's really a real problem, so I had to say... Condom. We're gonna go fishing for answers. For answers. 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 For kids are watching, it's answers. It's answers. You know, well, I'll just have like baths with her and stuff, and it what? can be just like, yeah. Baths? A, a bath? Oh, yeah, baths. <laughs> Please speak English. This is America. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you clapping? Oh, on my like America. <laughs> If we were in England, the tables would be turned. It's it would true. be a mess. You'd be having a bath. And... No, it's true. A bath. She says bath. She says ba bath? Bath, yeah. Are your kids getting your accent, or are they getting your husband's accent? Well, Hazel had my accent for a really long time and would say things like water, which I was really proud of. And then, yeah. and then the other day, she goes, can I have some water? <laughs> and I went, it's water. And she was like, no, it's water. <laughs> I was like, no. <laughs> Miraculously, they're sounding quite British, you know, which I'm completely over the moon about. Um, you like it's, that? It's, yeah. yeah like, my, my little one sent me a video of her... Well, she didn't actually send it, but someone sent it of her singing Jingle Bells, and she goes, Jingle all the way! Like, almost like a cockney. It was almost like <laughs> Dick Van Dyke singing Jingle Bells. <laughs> we always get the sense that um, when people come here from England, they um, kind of look down their noses at us. Oh, we do. Yeah, yeah very much. <laughs> very much. Because we're better than you. And Congratulations, you just became an American citizen. I did. That was wonderful. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> wow. They, they just don't like me being British. They prefer me this way. Yeah. Now, but now I'm only half better. You have to yeah. look, literally look down your nose at yourself. Well, You're... people asked me about the whole day. They were like, oh, it must have been... So emotional, and I was like, it wasn't. It was sad. <laughs> I like being British. It was the most bizarre day. I think Americans are so welcoming to British people. You uh, sort of Anglophiles, all of you. I do not think it works the other way around. I think British. We like you more than you yes. like us. Yes. Why don't much you like us? After that. Why don't you like us? I have no idea. We saved you in World War Two. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what about John Krasinski? How does he do in London? He's gonna come... Oh, oh, he's coming for the first three months, then he has a job to go to. But he loves it and also very much feels like a foreigner there. He said, they're always so horrible to me in there. I went, take your baseball cap off. I, I did encourage him that he would be welcome more if he stopped wearing a baseball cap. You look so American. He looks so American. You look so American. <laughs> Nobody wears baseball caps. Oh, that makes it better. You look so American to take off the baseball cap. <laughs> I was just wanting you to blend in a That's bit. Just so Called prejudice is what. <laughs> <laughs> but he went out and bought himself a tweed flat cap. Mm. No, he looked awesome. Was that good? No, no, he looked like something out of a Guy Ritchie film. You look great. And he walked down the street, <laughs> and it was like the sun came out because suddenly a guy turned to him and he went, "All right." What? <laughs> what does that say about your country? That's like, well, if you lose the baseball hat, get just a flat wear cap. tweed. That's what it says. <laughs> Every yeah. Sunday, you and your friends, you get together yep. for a traditional. Sunday roast. We do try to do that, yes. Do Americans appreciate the greatness of the Sunday roast? Not... Yes. Do you? I do. I love Yorkshire pudding. Oh, you can come. Thank right. <laughs> because no, one, no other American seems to understand it or value that it is... You really need to start drinking at 11. Yep. It's going to be the entire day. Mm -hmm. You've just got to surrender to this... Uh, the amount of food that you're going to eat. You're going to be drink in day, a food coma by food five. Food coma. But we invited some Americans one week, and they ate in about 45 minutes and left. And John what? was horrified. As he should be. And John said in a thick American accent, no more Americans. Because <laughs> he loves it so much.